And so I just chill right here. Yeah, this works. <laughs> Behind the scenes guy, behind the scenes now. You'll be my apprentice. <laughs> oh, hi. oh, so you can see it, you can monitor yourself. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Maybe we have, we have even space no, on the can... side. This is there. Right, can we, we do we have shot? even space on the side of us? Oh, uh, or is it I think so. Okay. It's pretty yeah. even. Yeah. Oh, that's the that's the clock. I was like, what's that What's that shadow on the, mm -hmm. on the top right there? Uh, that's the clock. We can, we can move over a little bit to not have that in the picture because it looks a little, I don't know. The little, you see it on the top left. The, oh. The, 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 I don't know. Is it that way? <laughs> we can't be perfect. Yeah, that's We're true. just chilling. This right. is, that's true. So we lost a nickel. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's what's changed this since six months ago, since June? Since yeah, June? Since, since June. Uh, yeah, uh, reasonable well, well, what amount. Happened? What happened? Reasonable amount. So um, first, I mean, I, I felt really, really good. I mean, I enjoyed the transition to uh, flexitarian, breatharianism. Um, having yeah, having the flexibility to, to 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 eat when you want and not and, and not eat when you don't yeah. really want to eat. Yeah, I mean, I you know I didn't eat for I didn't eat with any solid food for a good six weeks, um, and actually that felt great. I mean, I, I was already introducing before that anyways, so it was fairly easy to keep that going because um, yeah, I enjoyed it anyways, and, yeah. and I know you get a lot of nutrition through um, through juices anyways, so. And I, and I went to explore new trees. I mean, part of the people that were there got new recipes and it was, it was fun. I mean, it was a lot of fun to kind of experiment yeah. and uh, went that way. And especially in the summer too, you have so many things that are ripe, uh, fruits and veggies. Uh, so it's, it's super easy to do that. Um, and then, yeah, I went pretty much hog wild and trying different recipes and it was great. We also, um, right after the initiation, we stayed with friends in Tucson. And they had uh, uh, girls, and so I made juice, and they actually all they enjoyed most of it. Nice. You know? uh, so it's great to share that, uh, and they they really appreciated it too. And I was like, wow, this tastes great. You know, so that's something that you expose people to, and they're not necessarily it's unexpected. In the right mood and environment, people are you know more chance to like it. I think. Exactly. Yeah. The right vibes around it. Right. Um, and then I started doing the food tasting thing, where mm -hmm. I would just uh, taste it but not eat it. You know, just have the flavors in my mouth, and then kind of. I, I would always get a ask for a coffee cup in a restaurant or at friends and then just kind of spit it back out. Yeah, so. should be the one weirdo doing weird. Yeah. I do, I do that in private plenty of times. But. Yeah, and, and I try to be kind of very... I think uh, I've probably done it once in a restaurant. I don't know. Yeah, and I was I was totally fine with that. I mean, I know I try That's to be cool. kind of conscious about it and just kind of like you take a sip and do it that way. And so it wasn't as um, in, in people's face type of thing. And just pointing out this... this the, the, the strength you, the, the unabashedness you, know, yeah, you and, have to do this, because that, that's what it feels right to the body, right? You don't want to be swallowing it, being weighed yeah, down. Yeah, absolutely. Because, uh, yeah, and then, um, did I start eating before Europe or not? I don't think so. So, yeah. like, even on the way there, it was funny because I was in, um, in first class on the plane. Of course, you know, the food that gets served is quite amazing. But I was like, no, I'm I'm fasting, you know, and I didn't I didn't eat or drink anything. On a big so, international flight. Yeah, exactly. So on the way to London, and uh, but you know the the uh, the staff, you know, I mean, they, it's actually interesting. Fasting is much much um, more accepted nowadays. I mean, it's so so. If you say you're fasting, it's like everybody's like, oh, cool. You know, they're they're actually positive about it, and and I mean, you know, yeah. as long as you're not saying. I don't ever eat in my life, you know, that's probably a little extreme, but the fasting well, You're part, challenging their whole uh, knowledge base, their whole kind of, experience in yeah. life. Yes and no. It was actually interesting because in Europe, mm. the people that I, you know, met my friends, I shared the experience I had with them, but I always kind of, I, I found a really good way of, of introducing it where, you know, I point out, it's like, look, okay, so here's, um, yeah, ask people like, okay, you, you've heard about energy all around us, you know, some people yeah. call it prana, some people call it chi, some people call it, you know, holy God, whatever, whatever you might call it. And, and people are generally like, you can, you can get them interested in that and, and connect with that concept. Uh, and then the next step is like, well, okay, so, uh, and then, and then you kind of point out the similar things what Ray is pointing out. I was like, you remember the first time you were in love, you know, you didn't think about food. You know, you might've gone like a whole day without eating. And did you fall apart and starve? No. And so it's an interesting concept where people do remember those uh, times. Uh, and the same thing is like, you know, when you're totally concentrated and working on something, 
you don't think about food either, right? right? So for eight hours, you don't even drink water. You know, you completely focus and concentrate on what you're doing. And then you get up and you don't fall over. You're not all of a sudden weak. You, know, you probably it, feel better. You, exactly. You know, a lot of times you feel better because you've been just so concentrated and focused. So it was kind of, it's really, so those little things kind of tease people into the concept that there might be something more than getting our sustainable energy from food. And so that's kind of where I lead it in. It's like, so, okay. So I mean, no, you know, juicing or lighter foods uh, also cause the body to absorb it better and actually have, be more efficient. So and they, most people have experienced some of that too. They've, you know, some people have done maybe a juice fast or, uh, well, and, and to be honest, some of the people that I've met were my parents' friends. So they all actually were, they lived as kids through the war where mm. they didn't have any food. Yeah. Right. So for days or weeks, they lived on very little. Um, so to some extent, they were doing a know. you know quotes unquote fast, even though of course it wasn't the preferred life. Yeah, it's like fasting is just not doing the American way of three meal, three huge meals a day. Like, right. Or or let's say that the most of the world, whatever you are, in the, Western world, in the current, exactly. whatever the average is. Yeah. Because yeah. you know that the funny part is, I remember when we were on a on a um, safari in Africa. I remember the driver. I never saw him eat. And I asked him too, it's like, what, what, what's your normal I go home? intake of food? And I was like, well, you know, it's usually vegetables and, and potatoes. Um, but like meat, they eat maybe once a year because mm. it's just expensive. Yeah? And, and your, your animals you use for milk uh, because you need a sustainable food for a daily basis. Um, but if you <laughs> slaughter your animal, it's gone. It's, gone. it's done. It's like once, you know, maybe and there's no refrigerators necessarily. So you're you gotta um, really plan that and, and make it a an ex, you know like this is a, a very special event like for Christmas or something like that uh, or for the holidays. Um, so it was it was interesting too to kind of really understand it and and I felt bad sometimes we're in some of these hotels we got you know these buffets in the mornings uh, and for lunch we got more food and for dinner more food uh, and the nice thing is they did have some of it was local which I appreciated because I was like. I want to really experience the local food versus, oh, you're European or American, we're going to give you what you're used to. Yeah. <laughs> you know, which I know most people expect. That's what I want. I've been so. just, just totally disenfranchised by food, losing interest. Like, <laughs> I grew up on junk food, so I, sometimes uh, I go back when I'm like, okay. one Snickers bar every two years and I'm good. I don't need another Snickers, you know? Yeah. And it just get, keeps getting longer and longer. But yeah. I want, I'm, when you said, when you're talking about exotic local food, I'm like, yeah, I want to go to. Ethiopian food I've had, and maybe I have it. Maybe I've I'd have it again, but yeah. then I, I need something else. What's more exotic? What's something that's more rare and special and, right. that I haven't tasted? Yeah. And it's it's more it's more it's not about sustenance anymore. No, it's exactly. About it's about the experience. flavors and experience. Yeah, exactly. And I've always been that way anyway. So um, even though yes, food was you know taught as being the sustainable thing, but I always I I rarely eat because I'm hungry. I mean, there are times yes. Uh, but it really is all about flavors for me. So in that sense, um, and that was the fun part going to Europe. So when we when we started the trip, I was specifically. Oh, do you want to stop for a minute? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. What is that? A blender? Uh, vacuum cleaner. Okay. That'd be a couple minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I might take a. I don't know. I'll take a break. Yeah. Keep the battery. Okay. And to get like so, it takes a while destroyed for it. by a five hundred association, oh, yeah. and sued for two point five million dollars <laughs> when they like strangle all the pipes and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's that. So I mean, because our neighbors they have redwoods right along the fence, and I have some cracks in my foundation mm -hmm. on the on the uh, garage, which I don't care about. But but still, you know, it's like one yeah. of those sad things. But I'm like, well, these trees are gonna outlast all of us here in all the buildings. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Plant a, plant a tree. Right, so yeah. Back to back to you yeah. with your timeline. So, so this is what what June or this is July August. So this you're in is Europe, and yeah, you're, basically. You're so tasting. I was uh, yeah I had uh, when my goal was a three months trip and basically just to to spend time with friends and family and just to have time right not like yeah. hey I'm gonna be here for three days let's try and see everyone slow like, down exactly slow down really have uh, a lot of time and and the funnest. Um, memories really were of meeting up with some of my parents' friends. Because, uh, I mean, I grew up with them too. Because right? most of them had kids 
that were similar age to, that my sister and I were. So uh, we all hung out together. So it's basically, it's 10 couples that met in the early 60s at IBM and they're all still mm. friends. Uh, nice. And out of those 20, only three people have passed away. They're mm. all in their 80s and some are in their 90s. Uh, they're all in incredible health. And, and then they survive fasting during the war as children. Yeah. So it's an interesting, it's an interesting um, study really to look at. Uh, just one person actually just recently last, passed away last week. So up until that point, mm. only one person passed away of cancer. Uh, the other passed away of a heart attack three years ago. So, I mean, and they were all like close to 80 when, when, they, uh, when they passed. You know? So, uh, and one guy, he's like 97. And he, like, I saw, you know, I visited him. Like the funny part is one of, one of the groups was, uh, one friend was 90, I think 93, or sorry, 83. And he was the youngest. Then the, the woman of the house, who's actually the Hungarian, who used to cook the lovely dishes, uh, she's 87 and her husband is 90, uh, 97. Mm -hmm. uh, and he was, her husband had just been to the doctor and the doctor said, like, you're like a 60 year old. Yeah, in terms <laughs> of like his, his health and his, his vibrancy and everything. So, and you couldn't tell when you see him, he's like, I mean, he, he's kind of, he's not tall. And, um, but I don't know, I mean, he, to me, he looks almost the same as when I grew up 30 years ago there. I mean, and I, and I graduated from high school 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. So I know him like 55, I mean, 45 years now. I, I know him this person. You know? And for me, he hasn't really changed in those 45 years, so, wow. which is amazing. What, what, what's, the, what's their intake like? Um, they okay. eat very, I mean, they eat a good amount of food. You know? So, and because her mom used to live with them, so they had home cooked meals every day and, and just really, really good and hearty food. You know? So, so what, 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 what about you? So you had, how was your health doing in Europe? Did so I was, anything? I was doing actually really well. So what I ended up doing is, uh, so I ate and then I would fast, uh, about two, two dry fasts a week. Um, and that felt really good. It was a good balance. Uh, it was a little tough at times because it was super hot, you know, and doing a dry mm. fast when it's super hot, that's a little hard because you just, the dehydration does. Could you feel it more in your mouth and your throat? Yeah. Or just, I, you know, I definitely felt like going upstairs, like at the Coliseum in Rome and it was a super hot day and I was dry fasting and it was just hard going up some of the stairs. And okay. Stuff, you know, so it was, it was just, I just, I went a little slow and kind of sat down, but other than that, I felt great. I had good energy. Uh, now I did completely overeat at times, you know, because when you're going to happen, that's the thing actually about, uh, when you do the conversion, you lose your sense of fullness, which is the weirdest thing. And then when you eat, it's just like, there's no, you never get a sense of you're full. It's like, almost like it, it rolls right through, which it doesn't, of course. Uh, so there was actually a birthday party of my, uh, former mother-in-law and she turned 80 and, and it was foods that I grew up in. And so, you know, I had one plate and I went back for seconds and then there was, huh. there was dessert and there was cake 